Bad posture can be a killer, but today I'm going to show you how to fix it. Dr. James Vager here. I'm a specially trained doctor of physical therapy who focuses on helping people solve their joint pain issues. A common cause of pain all over your body is poor posture. Poor posture can lead to a number of issues, including neck stiffness, back pain, and even causes fatigue and a bad mood. It might seem difficult to have good posture if you're sitting all day, or if you have to make a conscious effort to maintain it. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you one quick fix for better posture. And even better, stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you a free healthy back guide. It's important to understand that this is not a typical movement. With this movement, you are allowing your brain to reorganize your body. Using excessive force is going to be counterproductive and actually limit the results you're able to achieve. Your body is likely used to using its muscles in a certain way if you've maintained bad posture, which causes pain in your back and neck. We want to retrain those muscles to be in the proper alignment. You need to know that this exercise is intended for a broad audience and you may require more specific attention. Please listen to your body and know your limits. There should be no pain when performing these movements. Also understand that if I was working with you one-on-one, -on -one, I would be able to provide treatment and guidance on all of the facets of your pain. There is much more that goes into solving your problem that encompasses your whole body. And I encourage you to check out my other videos for a more comprehensive approach to solving your specific pain problems. Now, if you're experiencing severe pain from bad posture, I encourage you to seek out one-on-one -on -one medical attention. Now let's get started. So this exercise is simple in that it, you only need yourself, your body, and the wall. The other thing to know about this exercise is that it comes in about two stages. And if you're able to get through the first stage, then you've graduated to the second stage. And I'll be showing you both of those parts right now. This exercise can be fatiguing. It really works muscles that have not been worked in a while, but it's good to do this throughout the day to give the muscles that aren't working the chance to flex the chance to be used, the chance to wake up, and to let the muscles that are being overly used a chance to shut off. So find a blank wall, I'm using a door. It's typically much easier to find a blank door than it is a blank wall in an office space or in a house. So I'm gonna come to the wall, I'm gonna keep my feet about a foot and a half, two feet away from the wall, and it really doesn't matter. You can put your feet as far away from the wall as you need to in order to drop down um, your butt towards the floor so you can flatten your low back against the wall. So it's about really curving your back so your low back pushes against the wall and you really feel those vertebrae pushing into the wall. From there, you're gonna gently stack the rest of your vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time, trying to separate each vertebrae from the one below it, trying to get each next vertebrae higher and higher up the wall, one at a time always making sure that the low back is staying on the wall. The second you start to move and your low back pulls away from the wall, you need to stop and start all the way from the bottom again and keep practicing stacking up from the very bottom until you can stack all the way up and get the back of your head on the wall. Once you're able to achieve this, the next step, step two, part two of this, is to bring your arms up so you're putting your elbows on the wall and the backs of your hands on the wall, keeping your head looking straight away and not letting your low back come off the wall. And then you slide your hands up, keeping the hands on the wall, the elbows on the wall, and trying to slide them all the way up so they're next to your ears without letting your back off the wall. And then coming back down. And this is a movement sliding up and down. This is a challenging exercise on your muscles. So if you feel cramping in your back, that's totally normal and not necessarily a bad thing.
There we have it. Be sure you listen to your body and stop immediately if you experience pain. Pain is your body's way of telling you something is wrong. As promised, I have that special gift for you. All you have to do is click the link down below in the description so I can send you my healthy back guide. I would really love your help with leaving me some feedback down below in the comments. Let me know how this movement felt for you. What struggles did you have? Or any questions you may have about fixing your posture? Be sure to click the subscribe button so you can get even more pain relief and corrective exercises and tips. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend or family member who could use help with better posture. Until next time, take care of yourself.